Sadhguru, what are your views on adultery? How does it affect one spiritually? If there is no love in your heart, you are anyway an adulteress. For convenience and comfort, if you have given yourself to any aspect of life, not necessarily a man or a woman for that matter, without love in your heart, if you have given yourself to any aspect of life, you are an adulterer, isn't it? So am I against adultery? Yes, in that sense, yes, with every aspect. But if you're talking about what is considered socially as adultery, it is individual and for every action that you perform there is a consequence. Most people I know, they are not willing to face the consequences when they come. But without face consequences they want to have situations that they enjoy. Then anybody who is not willing to joyfully accept the consequences that come to them for whatever actions they perform is just a fool. And a fool is somebody who is against himself in so many ways. Anybody who works against himself, anybody who turns himself against himself or herself against herself, what shall we say about them? <laughs> so, with your actions, if you are turning yourself against yourself because you do things senselessly. You are not doing things by choice, you are doing things senselessly simply because you have given in to a certain aspect of your body or your emotion or something, then definitely it's not okay. Because you will bring suffering to yourself. Anything that bring, brings suffering to any human being, especially to himself. Is it okay? Anybody who simply goes about bringing suffering to themselves for whatever reason they have, it doesn't make sense, isn't it? I am not against or for anything. I want you to live sensibly. What makes at most sense to you, you must do that. Is this wrong? Is that wrong? That's not the point. Are you living your life sensibly? That's the question. Or are you a slave of something and trying to find approval from me for some nonsense that you do? No. I have neither approved any action or disapproved any action as long as you are… as long as you are behaving sensibly about what you are doing. A senseless life is sin, isn't it? If you live sensibly, in a way that Creator will be proud of you, it's fine. If you have just given into either the ways of your body, or your emotion or your mind and going against yourself, it's not sensible. So such senselessness, is it wrong? I am not even saying it's wrong, it's just very limited and stupid. I have never termed anything right or wrong in my life. But anything that's limited and stupid is not worthwhile, that's all. So I would say adultery is not worthwhile. Is it right or wrong? Who am I to pass a judgment on anything about life? I don't pass judgments about life. 
but it is stupid and limited to do anything which causes suffering to yourself. It is stupid and senseless to give in to something which seems to be everything today and tomorrow which will make you feel like a fool, isn't it? It's, it's stupid to give in to something which makes, makes you think today it's everything and tomorrow morning it makes you look like a fool to yourself, not to somebody else. That is a senseless way to live. You must live in such a way with so much sense that God should be… God should be envious of you. If you show such sense, there's no right and wrong with your life. If you don't have such sense, everything is wrong with your life. <laughs>